just bought yourself one of these, a Line 6 uh, interface. A great piece of kit, I think. Um, very simple, but it's got a wide number of options. So here you put your microphones. You put in two microphones here. Here you would put your electric guitar. Okay, And here is a headphone socket, same as these. And I've used a little adapter here, which costs a few few dollars uh, in, in the shop, with a mini jack, which feeds to my computer monitors. Uh, you can, if, you've got, if you're lucky enough to afford studio monitors, you can put them here and here, analogs out, okay, with some jacks on the back. You'll notice here there's a cable, which is the same as the cable on your printer, and that you can use, oh, you can, that connects straight into your computer here, okay? So I've got a basic Shure microphone, which works fine, this baby here, and there you are, you're ready to go. You can also, of course, use headphones and plug those into here, again, using this mini jack adapter. Right, that's the first stage. So you're all connected up, and um, you want to put the software on. So actually, I uh, made a mistake. You don't want to connect this baby yet until you're told to do so by the software. So I'm disconnect your interface. Um, and let me just adjust my camera and we're going to take a look at the computer screen. Okay, so here we are. Um, this is the PodFarm software. Now what you can do to load this software, I suggest you go to one of the many YouTube sites. There's some very good sites which I will put in the credits at the end. Um, I also just want to tell you about these guys who run a fantastic music shop in Southampton. I don't work there. I am just bought this from them and they give me some great help. They're called Hobgoblin and there's a guy there called Ben who's great help and the team there are fantastic. And I had a lot of problems connecting my microphone. And I went on YouTube and there are all kinds of good explanations for what to do. But this here is what you want to pull up. Once, I'm assuming you've loaded your software, and again, I'll do a little video on how to do that, or quickly go to YouTube, you'll find a video on it. Um, so basically, let's reload our pod farm software. This is the icon. Okay, here it comes. And here is my interface. Okay, there's a whole bunch of things on how to how to make it work. Here are all your different instruments here. There's a bar that runs along the bottom. You can pick your instrument here. And uh, anyway, what I've got here, you'll look in this section here, we've got, that's for the instruments, these little boxes here. That looks at the, in the control knobs on the instrument you've chosen. There are a number of different options to choose from, different sounds, but over here, we've got our mixer. Now this is very important. So for your microphone to work, you've got to have the right input. Now this will save you many hours of frustration if you've watched this very closely. So you see where I'm here, we've got input mic two. So this little baby here, you click on the arrow and you can see your various inputs. Now when I bought this, it was set up for line one for the electric guitar, which was working fantastic, uh, could, but I could not get the microphone to work. And until the very good people at Music Shop told me the most basic mistake I was making, which was to not activate this. So I activate at the moment. Okay, here's the mic. You can see nothing. I'm scratching it. Nothing's happening. One, two, one, two, nothing. So I've got my microphone plugged into mic two, click mic two, and hello, here we are, everything's working fine. So I can tell you it was a breakthrough moment. How stupid am I for not, <laughs> for not seeing that? But anyway, that's life. So you, often it's the simple things in life that trip us up, right? Okay, so that's it. That's basically how to connect your microphone. And I'm, the purpose of this video, there are many on how to set this up, how to connect all kinds of things. I'm not here to do that. I just want to give you this little piece of advice. 
Hit remember, this is your mixer view. This will go back to your amps. But go on here, look at your inputs. Microphone one, microphone two, microphone stereo. I haven't tried this yet, but this is when you plug in both microphones, I'm assuming, and you've got both of them operating at the same time. Um, as you can see here, my voice is coming through loud and clear. So this is definitely working. And let's take a look at what's happening on the interface. You can see here, if I talk here on those monitors, it's coming through. And that is really good news. So now you're ready to go, ready to start recording. Um, I'm just going to flit now to the Reason software. In a nutshell, you've got the pod farm, which is your sound, which is controlling your sounds. And then Reason, this software here, is basically going to record your sounds. Now you can see here, loud and clear, I'm coming through. Now there are a million things to learn on this. It, it is an extremely good piece of software. I'm familiar with a little bit with Audacity. I'm battling away with Reaper. And I'm now going to start with this. So if um, anyone can recommend a good and simple um, YouTube video on this, I would appreciate it. Meanwhile, I'm going to work my way through it and I will produce more videos on this topic soon. But I hope this has been a great help and enjoy. And just to refresh, we'll come out of reason for a second. Let's go back to Pod Farm. Here's, here are the instruments. Here they all are. And by the way, there's a very good um, YouTube video on how to set up the microphone using the different amps that you've got at your disposal. And But that's a whole different topic. I'm not gonna cover it. The guy does it really well. And I'm gonna give a link to that at the end of this video. Here we are. Here are the interface once more. Input, there we are. All ready, all geared up to go. Everything's working. Microphone here, here we go. Look at that. Uh, I can't tell you how happy I am to get this sorted because I understand when you get a piece of software like this or a, an interface, it, often it, you, it can't work. I've looked at some of the forums, there's all kinds of frustrations. People can't get this working or that working. So I'm hoping that with this, I'm just adding a tiny little bit of help to everyone out there. And happy recording and good luck and I'll be back soon with more information. Thank you very much.